coach, just some opening thoughts on, uh, on today's match for you. Yeah. First, I want to congratulate UW Oshkosh for their win and advancing on to the championship and wish them the best of luck in the tournament. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't our night. Um, obviously, um, UW Oshkosh is a very solid team, and um, the first set, we kind of just didn't play our game. Um, I think maybe some nerves got the best of us a little bit, but I was really proud of the way that our team fought back in the second set um, and, and pushed it to a loss of just two points. Um, really proud of our team overall this season and um, again getting to the NCAA tournament um, and it really was a collective effort um, and definitely for our seniors, a tough one for them, but they had a great year and I'm really proud of them. Uh, uh, kind of a question for both of you. Um, in that second set that Coach just talked about, you guys obviously fought back very well, um, only losing by two points, and you even took the, the lead a couple times. Um, what were you guys standing to each other on the court, uh, on the bench, whatever it might have been, to, to each other to stay that competitive in, in that set? Yeah, I think we had full confidence in each other in that moment, and we just like just like keep going. Like, don't give up right now. Like, it's not our time. Like, we're not finished yet. And we just stepped on the gas and kept going and just fought. And a big thing that we've been focusing on all year is just leaning on each other and coming together as a team and we're not going on our own island. So I think we did that really well in the second set. Yeah, uh, Ro, you don't have any seniors here, but can you just elaborate on what they've meant to the program? You know, three conference championships, three national tournaments in a row. So what have they meant to the success of this program? Well, the tears in my eyes <laughs> <laughs> speak for themselves. Um, the senior, seniors have been a ton to this program. And to have three back-to-back -back championships and NCAA tournament runs. Um, but honestly, not just that, but just how wonderful people they are to see how much that they've grown and what they've given to this program. Um, and to Miss Davis as student athletes, uh, it's just an absolute honor to coach them. Um, and I'm extremely proud of them. And they should re be very proud of themselves for all that they've given. Um, we said in the locker room that they made a huge impact on all of us. Um, and have etched their names in that gusty floor um, forever. So, yeah. um, Marin, successful season. We just touched on it. You know, for you, you've experienced two of those the last two. So, what has this season meant to you and in, in your growth as a player? Um, I mean, coming off of last year, it's honestly kind of a struggle because last year <laughs> it was like I was a new player and it's like I wasn't even expecting to play. It was just like going in there and like getting <laughs> after it, and then. This year I had like a different perspective, but I think I really persevered and I just am so grateful to be part of this team. Like we've gone through so much together and I really can tell every single person on the team my best friend and I just, I love being a part of this team. Sydney, um, you know, you sh share it with Marin, just experiencing the last two, but I know it's tough to think about next year already, but how do you guys feel with you guys returning and maybe you guys stepping up into a leadership role and what you guys bring back next year. So what excites you there? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, you know, like obviously reflecting on this last season, like see how much we've grown already and just how much more progress we have to make and we can do it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you.